We are uh, caravan camping again. Yeah, just behind this wall here, <clears throat> I'm gonna show you. It's a it's a Pacific Ocean. We are the last last spot next to the ocean. Just down there is a ocean. I'll show you. I'm gonna get one line ready. <clears throat> yeah, sur surf down there. Gonna do surf fishing. Just gotta get one line, only one. That's it. This is it. And. Doesn't matter how much you wash it, still the same. All right. I got my um, 4.2 surf, surf casting rod, and um, the cheapest reel I have. Why I bring the cheapest reel to, to surf? Surf actually eats the reels. Sand, I should say, sand and salt water, bad mix for the reels. This is my cheapest one, and um, I sort of uh, sacrifice that. Yeah, this is luxury, man. Getting ready, getting ready for fishing from a car, just walking there. It's luxury. Tidying this swivel, my main line. Uni. Go. Five times, maybe six. Two, three, four, five, six. Braid, <clears throat> no need to edit. Perfect knot. There's a bit of a tag end. Tag ends down. I need a bit of a leader, leader line. So we're already <clears throat> that's my measurement it's just a bit over a one meter chop it <clears throat> and this end goes to the main line and I've got my um, rig uh, double hook connected to same line Pilchard rank leg and um, how do I connect it? <clears throat> the main main idea do not ever do not ever put a knot on any line not on any line when you're connecting it not weakens the line all right main line I leave this much to connect to swivel <coughs> main line runs this way 
and swivel way. All right, this is the tag end. One, out. Two, out. Three, out. And last, out. Depends how thick is the line that you, you're tightening. My one's enough. <coughs> Player comes in. Tag gets pulled in. All line gets pulled in. All right. What we did, this is the main line. That's the tag end. Cut the tag end. Collect the rubbishes. All right. <clears throat> line connected. And this is it. And this is this is the end goes to the swivel. <clears throat> That's it. And this line is a sinker line. Swivel. <clears throat> Same again. This time different knot. One. Two, three, four. Go in that first loop. Go in the first loop. You created a loop here. Go in that loop again. Very, very nice. Done. Done. There you go. Perfect. Cut the tag again. Don't leave the rubbish around. Okay, what I've got? Swivel, hook, and a sinker. Simple knot. And two times. With it. Got it. Tip, all extra tags needs to be chopped closely. Why? It, we, it holds the wind when you're casting it. Every centimeter casts one meter or two meter less. So you chop it. All right, it's like a two dollar shop. Too much gadget but I always know my sinker ba uh, box or sinker bag I'm gonna use a um, star sinker yeah this is it when you do star sinker to the line Never ever connect sinker to the line. It will cut it. It will cut it and then you lose your sinker. Connect to the line. Uh, some strong nylon material. And um, no knot. Done. In that, in that line. And pass it. Pass the sinker. No knot. See, I haven't done any knot on the main line. If this sinker is not enough, easy. Push it back, take it off, change it with different sinker. But I reckon this is okay. What I got here? <clears throat> Swivel, one line with two hooks and sinker. Done.
All right, we are um, next to Karawan walking down. We'll see. I got one line, a little bit of bait, and uh, walking down to to beach. Pacific Ocean. We are on high tide, and not too much gutter. I don't have too much gutter. I checked it before. Didn't see any gutter. I'm gonna walk on uh, uh, Sandy Park, cast it from from here as much as I can to that part here and uh, settle a bit of a uh, wind. It's a south wind. Resting my station here. Uh, maybe right here. All right. Let me get ready. Um, this is our casting site. I'm gonna cast right there. Look as much as I can. This is not the uh, organized fishing. Whenever I come for a, for a camping, a caravan camping, and I'm fishing there. I haven't done my uh, research, never cast in my life. Uh, it's on Great Ocean Road, I don't even know. I can't tell address uh, 100%. Between Lawn and Anglesey. All right, going in for a first pass. Battling with um, wind and uh, current, everything. Current takes it on my left. Too much wind. Using heavy sinker. Even a star sinker doesn't hold. Look like we're gonna go with no fish today. <laughs> we'll see. Happening. Had one small uh, salmon. I kept it for uh, for a bait, but after that, not even a bait. The water went down. Uh, going to low tide now, and uh, the current still pushing to my left. Strange. Yeah, maybe the uh, spot I'm staying on uh, gets a uh, lot of current. Because of the river on this side. 
Yeah, we'll see. I was rolling it in, and I got this fella. Second one, you know what? Do enough for us. Back up time. traditional um, Turkish morning breakfast dish green capsicum
rice. When the eggs get white around, it's cooked. You can turn it off. It's called melamine. Erskine Fall, close to Long. Yeah, when it's a low tide, you do sightseeing. Second day, exact same spot, exact same setup, only difference, my reel. I had a pen yesterday, 800, and this is my um, surf reel. I didn't use it um, yesterday, I punished it. I do that sometimes. I punished this reel because um, I lost four or five weeks last time I was in surf. For some reason, uh, Flying got weakened and, and I mentioned that on, on the video anyway. I'm going to use that reel. I did a bit of a test on it. They passed the test. And first bait. People asking um, my reel. Today I'm going with um, double hook one bait and star sinker size four. And, um, Distance surf cast. This is a Okuma reel. I'm not sure um, much specification, but it's it's a one of the long cast. It's a long shaft. The line line release is um, much better on the edge. You can cast about five to ten meters uh, longer. Yep, that's my rig and six or double or six or hooks. My bait set up and um, I'll be going in I'm not sure uh, if GoPro picks up the uh, wave curve not this one here about 300 350 out the wave curves that means there's a sandbag and a deep and sandbag here. That means if you drop it in that um, 15 north two, you are in the gutter. But wind and the current doesn't let me. Doesn't matter how far you cast, it moves with the current because you're still on the sand. If you drop in the deep end, I think I will sink down and then grab it. About 20 to 25 meters, my sinker uh, dragged 
on my left. That's what eggplant did. And that's the catch from yesterday. Two small salmon and uh, uh, one full something like a snapper. We'll get tonight milk. This eggplant, how I do it, I cook it on the stove like this. Uh, without touching it, it will cook from inside. The skin will cook inside. I peel uh, all the black skin off, but the pure uh, juice and the eggplant. Put that on the plate. Uh, lemon, salt, and um, oil. Bit of a parsley. Fine chopped parsley. This is I don't have a parsley tonight. Without parsley, I'll do. Yeah, that's a good, um, good stuff. This is a cooking. Once you cook the eggplant properly, without uh, burning the skin, you'll get this. This juice is eggplant juice. Don't chuck it away. It gets salt, oil, and lemon. Done. Yeah, this trip didn't catch any banjo, but we bring the banjo.